The fall in the stock price of Facebook parent meta platforms demonstrates yet again, free markets when allowed to will always upend seemingly unstoppable giants. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes and this is What's Ahead. We get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. The stock price of meta platforms, owner of Instagram, WhatsApp, and most famously Facebook, has suffered an astonishing collapse, plunging 75% from its 2021 high before recovering a tad in recent days. Once a super growth company with profit margins as wide as the Grand Canyon, now has declining year-over-year -year revenue growth. Its basic social media business is losing ground, especially among young people. Thanks to competition, particularly from TikTok. Also hurting is an Apple opt-in requirement that ended up curbing the ability of social media platforms to target ads. Advertising revenue for Facebook is down. More worrying, the company's multi-billion dollar plunge into reality labs, the so-called metaverse, where CEO Mark Zuckerberg says the company's future lies, has so far been an embarrassing flop. After years of furious hiring, Meta Platforms announces laying off 13% of its workforce, and probably more layoffs will be coming after this round. Zuckerberg changed Facebook's corporate name to Meta Platforms barely a year ago, as his affirmation of the metaverse's extraordinary promise. But technology glitches, and less than impressive experiences for Meta's metaverse users is costing the company dearly, $9 billion so far and counting. Meta's flagship metaverse, Horizon World, has left visitors so disappointed that most don't come back after the first month. Of course, the whole metaverse of virtual worlds will evolve into a colossal business involving hundreds of millions of people. Zuckerberg has made clear that his company will persist, and he fervently believes it will eventually be vindicated with huge success. That may be true, but even if the metaverse fulfills the promise of its fans, it doesn't mean that Meta Platforms will be a humongous winner the way Facebook was. Remember, back in the 1990s, most experts thought it would be big, existing companies like Microsoft that would dominate the emerging field of search engines. Who then could have imagined that two Stanford PhD students would start a company called Google that would roundly beat the expected winners? There are countless would-be Larry Pages and Sergey Brin's working to succeed in the metaverse. Experience repeatedly shows that seemingly impregnable corporate behemoths get humbled, not by antitrust suits, but by the forces of change always ready to roil the marketplace. General Motors, IBM, Microsoft, and Walmart all once appeared dangerously unstoppable. GM went bankrupt in 2009. IBM nearly went bust in the early 1990s. Microsoft floundered for years in the 21st century before recovering its mojo. Walmart had to face the stunning, threatening rise of Amazon. Free markets will always humble the biggies as long as we have the conditions that enable new entities to rise up. Low taxes, a relatively stable dollar, and a restrained government that doesn't suffocate the economy with senseless, intrusive rules. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh.